When you were born way back whenever, the doctor handed you to your mother and said it's a bouncing baby, girl or boy. From there, society has told you you are a boy or you are a girl. Some people are not happy with what they are assigned and born with, and that's fine. From there, they transition. They transition from male to female, or female to male, or something completely different. Now, when someone transitions, Usually the pronouns we identify them as change as well as their name. It must be noted that gender and sex are completely two different things. Think of sex as physical and gender as psychological. So let's use me as an example. I am a male in both gender and sex. If I wanted to transition, I could use she and I could get reconstructive surgery to have female parts. I am comfortable in my body and want to stay male, male. Got it? Okay. Now here's where things get complicated. Actually, not complicated at all. Let's take someone who has status in our society. Okay, so let's take Caitlyn Jenner. Now, Caitlyn Jenner was born Bruce Jenner how many years ago? She has now since transitioned from a he to a she. So, we no longer, in our English language, use he pronouns to refer to Caitlyn Jenner. We now use she pronouns. It is easy, people. You just add an S in front of he and you get she. That is, that is literally it. Now, to continue on with that, let's say you are just completely oblivious that they transitioned and you accidentally use the wrong pronouns. Usually someone who is transitioning, if they're really bothered by it, they will correct you. And from then on, you should use the correct pronouns. It's not hard. In some cases, they like to use they, them, their, or some other form of pronouns. It's not hard. It, it's, it's so not hard. You just respect what they asked you to do. Now put yourself back in your teenage years. Teenage years were crazy. I don't care who you are or where you lived. Teenage years are crazy because everything that's going on. Teenagers who are struggling with their identity need someone like Caitlyn Jenner and Laverne Cox, we cannot forget about Laverne Cox, to help them out with what they're going through. Parents don't really understand what their child is going through. They see the bouncing baby boy or bouncing baby girl as what they were born with. With. You have some parents who are accepting of these things, but then you also have the parents who send them to correctional facilities or refuse to still use the right pronoun even after their child has died. What Caitlyn Jenner did was say that you can be comfortable at any time in your life. She is reaffirming those teens that it is okay to wait or if you don't want to wait, become who you are right now. Unfortunately, there are many who are put into dangerous situations from transitioning and cannot do it until later in their life. Caitlyn Jenner is brave because she is doing something in the face of a nation that, you know, isn't as accepting as people would like to believe. Think about the next time you say you want peace in the world. Where does that begin? It begins with acceptance of other people. If you want the world to be as nice and goody-goody as you have dreamt it to be, as you post on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or whatever as you want it to be, you have to accept people that are not like you. You have to accept people who are in different mind frames. You have to use the right pronoun. Think about how it feels for someone who can't transition because of the environment they're in or any other factor and people keep using their wrong pronoun. Think of it. They're in constant hell because they can't be who they want to be in a world that tells them to be who they want to be. In a world that tells them we want peace but we're not willing to accept other people, thus creating more strife. I really want to preface this too. And this does not come out as a threat to anyone I might know. It's just something I really want you to be cognizant of. I'm warning you. Watch what you say on social media. Watch what you say. It's never going away. So to recap this video, because I went on a few points. Watch what you post. Accept others that are different from you. It is so brave to be who you are in the face of adversity. And use the right pronouns. Okay? Okay. Bye.